nine day rafting trip on the Franklin River. It's something which has always attracted me through its uh, remoteness. This is my second trip. I came two years ago. I think there'd always been a bit of a magnetic pull. I came on this trip just to get away before school starts back up. I've always wanted to do a multi-day trip and the Franklin River is just renowned as a, as a top place to do rafting. The Franklin River flows through one of the greatest temperate wilderness areas on earth and the river itself is indescribably beautiful with its overhanging pristine rainforest, uh, unique uh, tannin coloured waters, the burnished copper, a polished look of the rocks and this magnificent mountain scenery all around. It's just one of the world's great natural environments. In the heart of this world heritage wilderness, a bulldozer has arrived. The protesters have gathered at Butler Island for a final stand. This I found the campaign to protect the Franklin River completely irresistible. I mean, here was an effort on the part of brave, charismatic people to protect one of the world's great wild areas. The Franklin Victory was a watershed uh, for Australian conservation. It absolutely confirmed the ability and the responsibility of the federal government to protect wild country, uh, to protect world heritage, uh, but it also empowered a whole generation of young activists whose achievements carried through to the Daintree Rainforest, East Gippsland, Kakadu and other wilderness areas over the coming decades. World Expeditions was the first uh, commercial group to come down the river. They had an expedition trip down here in 1978 and since then we've been running commercial trips. Wake up in your sleeping bag feeling cool, thinking how long can I stay here and keep warm, and then you get up and have always a fantastic breakfast, and then it's just four or five hours on the water, which brings this magic combination of just gently drifting down gentle pools and of thundering through rapids and uh, hanging on white knuckles. Rapids were just uh, boys' own adventure stories. Love getting wet, just getting smashed in the face by the water. The river itself is the centerpiece, but you also have this amazing ecosystem that you're going through. The scenery changes dramatically um, day to day, and the water changes day to day. The enjoyment comes both with the unparalleled beauty and, and nature, as well as camaraderie that you form with the people you're teamed up with. There's always a bit of downtime, and I've found Interesting people tend to come on these sorts of trips, so there's a lot of camaraderie. Or to sleep a child's dream, as the playwright say. You're never anywhere that isn't totally beautiful. And always, always, there's the backdrop of the river. The food is amazing. I've eaten better here than I would be able to prepare for myself at home. Every day is a surprise. There's like, what's he cooking for dinner tonight that just like, sends me to bed with a, with a nice, happy belly. I was a little bit nervous about drinking out of the river at first, but being here, seeing the river and actually tasting it, no apprehension. It's just such a, a magic uh, creation. It really is a spiritual experience, just being here and being part of it for a, 
several days. It's a very rounded experience that you'll walk away from and think that you've achieved something as well as learned and enjoyed part of nature that, you, that you'll never ever get to see anywhere else. go and do it. It'll be the experience of your lifetime. It's uh, something that changes people's outlook on life at times. Just do it. You'll have a fantastic, unforgettable experience uh, on one of the world's great wild rivers. <laughs>